In this tutorial, we'll discuss how you can add responsive padding and margin in Bootstrap, meaning it depends on the breakpoint. So one other thing, by the way, about these sections is that on very uh, small viewports, small devices, this is a lot of vertical space, right? So here on, on the top as well. So let's say that here we have padding on the top, right? Um, maybe we don't want that on smaller devices, only when it when it has reached a particular uh, width and bigger. So what we can say here, you can you can also do that with padding. You can add those breakpoint uh, suffixes. Oh, let me close this. So here we have um, the following, right? So we can say add padding on the top and bottom, but only when it has reached the medium breakpoint and bigger. So now you can see on smaller devices, it's it's a little bit more suitable. I think it looks a little bit better. And then on wider viewports, yeah, so here on wider viewports, uh, we get more padding, right? A little bit subtle perhaps, but I want to show you that you can also use these things, MD on padding and margin and so on. Right? I'll add it here for the packages as well. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.